Hi guys, welcome back to Dripping Moments. I got another one for you. It's a story, okay? It's a story poem. It's called The Queen and Her Trusty Noble Steed. A queen battling everyday life with the thickest armor, armor thickened from time and interactions concerning weights of humans, which should be inconsequential in the grand scheme of life. Alone. Battling depression, addiction, dodging bill collectors, begging for scrapes, working for pennies, all grew the hardened armor worn by the queen. Until one day, the queen found a steed of snow-white underbelly and a coal-black top, sick and forlorn from not being nourished as a babe. The queen took her immediately into the castle and nursed her back to full health. The steed grew tremendous in size from healthy meals and unending love ready for battle by the queen's side she was trained to obey the queen and stay by her side as often as possible the steed was a trusty noble steed of sheer brute and stout muscle mass with the sweetest nose and kindest eyes any person had ever seen the queen and the steed fought many battles together, some they lost, where they would walk away or crawl away, licking their wounds together to fight another day, whilst others won and celebrated in full glory with each by the other's side. The queen's armor was the thickest it had ever been with the help of the steed's companionship. Her and the steed flourished in abundance and kindness. Many years passed, and one day the queen's steed got sick. At first, it was easy to help the steed stay strong and healthy. With food and elixirs to soothe the steed's joint pain. But then it grew harder and harder for the steed to stand and walk. Then, one sunny October day, early in the morning... While the leaves fell to the ground and the rain soaked the earth, the trusty noble steed passed away. In her grief, the queen tried to remove her armor and found it was harder than she thought. As she wailed with grief, the queen tore at her armor until her hands bled. She fell to her knees in defeat at the final resting place of her dead steed and wept with great feeling and emotion. The emotion was so powerful, it shook the walls of the castle. It took the grief, it took the queen some time to rise from her grief. But once she had, she realized grief will make even the strongest armor crumble as she looked at it on the ground. The queen decided to bury that armor and all of her battles with her steed and move towards another kingdom with brighter days and shorter nights. The queen carried the ashes of her steed everywhere she went to be reminded of the love she once had that died, but was never forgotten. You guys, that's about my dog. My dog just passed away. Thanks for joining me on Dripping Moments. If you'd like to submit, the email is below. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you really liked it.